here I have a wonderful uh, bag that Doug at um I don't I will put his uh, name in the chat or in the title after because I wanted to make sure I tagged him and got his name correct um, because I know <laughs> for some reason I, I get it backwards and stuff too so I think it's vintage boutique Cali but I will put it in there to, to just to make sure that I have the correct one in there but he was so nice he um we met him and uh check out Anitra at I Spy. Hello Mary. Um I Spy Queens is their channel and I will tag them as well. We all met and went out and did some antiquing and had lunch and they are just two amazing people that are pretty much exactly how you would think outside um of youtube as they are inside of youtube so just putting that out there they are amazing people i've met anitra before and she is just a ray of sunshine i would say and doug was very funny and very polite and very generous and sweet so we am very glad that I was able to meet up with uh, them and uh, do something together because I did not really think I would be able to do that. So, hello, Chanda. How are you? So, he individually bagged some of these things and put it in a big bag, and he did not have to do this. It was very sweet of him. So, we're just going to go through it. Thank you very much Doug. Hello Ramel Robin. Those are two 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 separate people. I'm trying not to hit this <laughs> either because I'm really bad about that. I'm always hitting stuff. This is really cool. I love this. Um, I don't see the bracelets that often. These are the vintage with the caps in very good condition. Um, Millie Fiori um Murano glass type bracelet in red very gorgeous absolutely love it hello miss sue hope you are doing very well now <laughs> and this is very cute it is um really pretty nice color it is plastic with this nice brass tone color here yeah it was really fun it was fun seeing um what everybody picked up too so um that's that's kind of why it can be cool to go out and uh shop with people too this is really pretty i love that I love the bags, too. They're so great to reuse. I love this. I think I would love to do an art piece um, or something where I just put all of these leaves in there because I love fall. It is my absolute favorite, favorite um, season without question. So I love those colored leaves. They remind me of fall. This is really cute. These ones. Nice earrings that you can kind of wear with anything. How about you guys? you guys like going shopping with other people or do you feel too much competition? This is very pretty. What is this brand? Liz Claiborne. So vintage Liz Claiborne is very pretty. Like I said, if I miss you guys in the chat, I am sorry. I get overwhelmed by the jewelry sometimes and don't even think about it. Yeah, it's very nice. Very nice day as well. These are great. These are something I would actually wear. These are Eve, um, Irwin Pearl, I think. E Pearl, yeah. Irwin Pearl, these are great. 
These are my favorites so far. The, you know what's funny? It kind of looks like a lady with bangs and short hair. <laughs> Does it not? That's really funny. I love those, and I love the leaf so far, and I always love these as well. <laughs> Anitra did. She grabbed some of the, the jewelry bags, but um, I think the one lady that I've gotten jewelry bags from is the same lady that has jewelry bags at that um, place anyway, so we both have access, so it was totally fine with me, and I hope she found something great in them. I know she had a video on that, too. I don't think I got to see it yet. These are those... I don't think this is jade, but I do think it is stone. I don't think it's sterling silver or anything. I don't think so, but it is very nice. I do like those quite a bit. This is a fun, a fun, very unexpected thing to get. This is pretty too. Um, there's some missing here, which I'm kind of glad about because I think I'm going to use this to craft with then. <laughs> I need to make more of my buffaloes, so. I always like to be able to. I feel bad when I craft with things that aren't. Um, that's pretty. Pretty little pendant. Peridot chippies. This is great. I love how small this is. These are nice when you have these long chippies. These are, I don't remember what col color they are. I have to do them again. You can see they're chipping over here, but I was like, you guys will be nice. <laughs> um, if sometimes I will use a brooch to put these things together um, this way when they don't have a clasp. That's a cheat that I do that I like to do with those. I wish I may dip my nails in gold. This is so pretty. This is actually probably Vintage Express. It looks like, like Betsy Johnson or something. This is great, actually. Yeah, I know. Sometimes it's it's hard. Um, I think we'll probably be doing one on Wednesday, an auction. Um, this is really pretty, actually. I quite like this. It's very girly. I think Sally and I will be doing an auction Wednesday. I have not talked to her, but I think so. I can't believe he brought this on the plane with him, too, which is pretty amazing. Pretty... Pretty excited about this one. He did say there might be a cameo in there that I can add to my collection. And this is a real cameo. And she is pretty. They are always pretty, as you guys know. I don't see any markings on this. But it is definitely a real shell cameo. Actually, it's there. Dane Craft. I think it's gold filled. A Dane Craft one. This is really beautiful, though. That is, and I love the ones that have the bales on the top where you can use them as either a pendant or a brooch. Those are my favorite because they're little better but this is in such pristine beautiful condition this is going in my collection all the more special because I got that from somebody else in the jewelry community who I got to meet and um my hu husband also very much liked hanging out with Doug as well and Anitra that was the first time he got to meet Anitra and Anitra's husband which was really fun uh oh, it's feeding time for the cat, guys. So, uh, 
<laughs> Keep that in mind. Yeah, you feed her, <laughs> yes, but even though it sounds like we don't, this is so pretty. This is Mark 9252, and he did say there might be some sterling in there. This is so, so pretty. Yeah, make sure you check out both of their channels. They are great human beings. This is just so pretty. I love the two-tone. I really like the color of the rose gold. That is stunning. I'm going to see what I can't um, layer this one with. I think I can make a really cool layered necklace. I'm amazed at this. Doug did not have to do that. I was not expecting this. It's very nice. He also said I didn't have to do a video or anything, but I felt like it would be fun. This is marked here. And it's marked 925. And then I don't know... Chris company something like that I don't know I actually really love this I like that it looks like a window pane it looks like like somebody made it this is totally my my style right, <laughs> something that I would definitely do or definitely wear I love that that's so cool you can see through it quite like that. So I love that we have the feminine and then like the, you know, modernist type thing going on. So that is amazing. Thank you. <laughs> I can't believe he put this together. This is, re this is really, really, really nice. Um, I thought this was a Brighton, but I don't. I don't think so. That's really cool, though. Look at this, the little cherub. That's awesome. There's some wear on on there, but this is overall in very good condition. I saw this too. This is huge. <laughs> Some of the bags are, are hard to open because they're nice new bags. Look at this tiger's eye. This is the craziest tiger's eye. It is huge. And it's beautiful. I know Miss Sally of Vintage Discoveries, she said, like, how you can tell if something is or is not, like, a quality tiger's eye. I have no idea. <laughs> um, but she does. This is really cool, too. I feel like this is very fun quality. Look, it's an Easter. There's Easter bunnies. And Easter eggs. Here's the Easter bunny. And the Easter bunny. And then these are Easter eggs. Those are so fun. I love that. Yeah, I really did think it was fun seeing what everybody picked up. And Itra was like all about the bags and stuff. I don't know if she got anything at the, the second one we went to. This is beautiful. Not missing anything. Nice height to it, if you can see that. Never going to say no to that. Like a nice vintage rhinestone brooch. Yes, please. <laughs> this is super fun. Is this signed? Well, I, I seem to remember a lot of these at like... Different places we used to go when I was younger with the little chains and stuff <laughs> and the turquoise chips. It reminds me of, of being younger. 
I used to, you know, used to, if you're putting stuff together or, you know, do whatever with it, which is great. These are fun. So this is the cloisonne. This is plastic, plastic. But I love these fish. And the cloisonne beads. This one, too. And the little elephant with trunk up. Oh, and the heart plastic or wooden heart. That's a really fun bracelet. There's a lot going on here. It's a lot of very girly stuff, which is fun. Fun girly things. Just like this as well. very sweet. So this is nice. This is really nice. I very much like this. Look at that. I love the color. I really do like that one. This is very exciting. What's cooler than getting something, getting to meet somebody and getting gifts from them? Like I can't think of anything cooler. <laughs> it's a really beautiful vintage bracelet. This is so fun. Can't wait to see exactly what this is. <laughs> He's got a little patina there, which I will just get off with some vinegar. That's very interesting. I can't tell how old this is. This is so cool. It looks like a fairy tale. I really like that. I've never seen anything quite like that. There's markings or anything on the back. It's super cool. And then I have a fish. A fishy. I look at this fish. That's so fun. Fish brooch. Love anything kind of whimsical. And this is stone. This is a real stone bracelet. When you see these that are colored, they're usually a little older. Um, I know the name of this stone. I can't think of it right this second for some reason, though. For some reason, this one always escapes me, but yeah, this is stone, and it, it is somewhat older. That's that's a really fun piece. Oh my goodness, I can't believe how much he's stuffed in here either. This one even still has a tag on it. Michelle McDowell. These are beautiful colors. Oh, so she's got her own tag in case you ever come across that so you know who it is. These are beautiful colors. Absolutely perfect condition. New tags. That's awesome. Oh, here's another. I am overwhelmed by Doug's generosity here. This is fun. This is like Mountain Dew colored. <laughs> this is fun. I love that one too. 
I know, that's what I was thinking, doing something like with a tree or leaves in the shape of a tree or something like that. I don't know. I love how Doug has um, his own cards. Vintage Boutique Cali, San Diego, California. If you like it, wear it. This is, oh, look at it. It's okay to be a little obsessed with vintage jewelry. It's one way of keeping memories alive. That is, Doug is so great at all of his marketing. He is such a smart guy and um, very freely gives advice and information to this is Kenneth J. Lane, KJL. And it's not the Avon one, it's a real Kenneth J. Lane. And I do not really see any missing stones. Oh, this is so pretty. I love bows. So one of my other friends gave me a lovely Chris uh, Christmas <laughs> birthday present. That was, I don't know if you guys have ever seen them, but it's a set that I actually had one of, but I had it in like cream and she gave it to me in blush pink. That's the little bows and it was so sweet. So I'm going to try to layer them up and wear them both. I'm going to put this back on here because I like his card. And I'm going to put it with my, my Kenneth J. Lang collection. I can't believe he gave me this. Um, some of those other things are so nice. Hi, Miss Gina. These are pretty. kind of wonder if my sister would like these. She's been wearing a lot of shell lately. Hi, Christina. Um... And sometimes these are, like, have silver around them, but um, these are really pretty, and I can see my sister wearing those. This is fun. It's got a little dragon on it. These are plastic, but that it's very fun. I know some people really wear a lot of those. Um, some people really prefer, actually stretch bracelets look at this wonderful vintage tag isn't that like some of the most fun parts of this it's made in korea this is vintage liz claiborne and it's meant to look like um like bohemian garnet that's so fun look at how delicate it is It'd be very nice to stack up. I like vintage Liz Claiborne. I think she makes great stuff. Great stuff. I always end up giving my tiger's eye to, to Sally <laughs> when we have friend mail swaps. This is fun. Look at I've never seen this. It's tiger's eye with these crystals. That's fun. Kind of needs to be restrung, I think, though. These ones with the clear, those do not last. I was always buying the ones that have the colors on them so I can do some more. Oh, my goodness. Doug, I can't believe you did this. And had super duper fun with us. These... Are so hard. Sometimes these are sterling and sometimes they are not. You just, it's hard to tell. All right. So these are awesome. It's a little dirty, but these are pearl and something and maybe smoky quartz. It's actually a very cool, beautiful necklace, though. That's really cool. Well, welcome back. I'm, I'm glad you're, Robin, you're no longer locked out. <laughs> it's always the worst. 
for being in being in Facebook jail. I have a couple of friends who keep getting themselves into Facebook jail, which kind of cracks me up. This one's not signed, but it is very pretty. It's a nice little cross. I'm not putting this one back because I can't seem to get it in there, but it's lovely. Ooh, this is pretty. This one's not silver, but it is got real stones and then a real stone stretchy bracelet. Hello from Scotland. How wonderful. Hello back from Western New York. These are fun. Look, there's more. And these are real pearls. I can just, I can tell. This is a really well-made brooch. Maybe I'll put it on, just put it on a jean jacket or something. A bunch of leaves on a jean jacket or something. We'll see. I think jean, jean jackets are going to be big this year. I don't know. Did they ever go out? I don't know. These are so pretty. I remember loving these crystals and they were not cheap. Um, and I, I was going to buy something like this, uh, five, 10 years ago. And it was, it was like 30 to $50. These are so pretty. They look like disco balls and I love disco. My husband and I, we both love disco music. It's one of the, we don't have very much music that we both like, but disco music is one of them. What is this? This is really neat. I think these are glass. Maybe or stone, maybe mother of pearl here with these yeah these are shell and these are glass that is a very very unique necklace i've never seen one like that that's super super cool hello miss tanya tanya was jealous she should have <clears throat> jumped in doug's travel bag and came with us is also vintage Liz Claiborne and this is really neat I really like this one it's got the closure like this so it's probably 80s that is a really neat necklace if you can't like afford um turquoise like this that would be such a great alternative and look just as nice all right, this one's calling my name. This one is calling my name. It says Carla. This makes me almost want to cry. Doug is very generous. For, he did not have to. This is really cool. Yeah, this is 925. And faux pearls. But I have one like this that is um, Majorica. Major Majolica. Um, I don't think this one is, but these are really cool. They're heavy, so these are not. Yeah, Doug gave me a bag um, with my name on it. It's got my name on it. Let's see? And because uh, he came and we met and it was super duper fun. Well, one of my other best friends now is another YouTuber, Miss Shops a lot. Um, and I do consider many of the other people 
on here. Um, my very good friends as well. You guys know Angie and Sally and I talk pretty much, not every day, but like very close to it. This is cool. Is this two? Is this two? Oops, sorry. Yeah, they're two. Oh, I love it. I love, oh no, there are three. There's three. Ooh. I love it that they're different sizes. This is probably soda light, I think. It's very nice. My goodness. <laughs> this looks very unique. Yes, it is. Oh, somebody made this. You guys know how I love things that are made by somebody. This, I think, is like, you can see, you can frame them for a crime. You can see their, their fingerprints. I'm kidding. Some of these are pearl. Yeah, pearl, pearl. I think they're dyed pearl. And then they also made their own enclosure. And this one's really well made with the, the bead cap. So this is a very nicely made artisan necklace. Very wonderful piece. Oh, I can't believe this is still going. Goodness. <laughs> Goodness, Doug. I'm glad I do not I do not cry very easily. I don't like I don't like crying in front of people. My daughter is the exact same way. Pretty much refuses. This is so unique. It says 925. What does it say? Ali Khan Collection. That is so cool. Carnelians. That is so neat. And then same thing here, I believe. He was like, you might find one or two, you know, drilling pieces in here, you know. <laughs> was not really expecting this. That is just so unique. Very unique. I love that. <laughs> and then this one with the brass and plastic and faux pearls. Very pretty, though. Ooh, this one looks nice. I hope you guys all had a wonderful weekend. I have had the best summer so far. Um, said that it's already August. This one is a little um, faded, but it's so pretty. They're faded like that. I almost would use it more for crafting because I don't normally sell things that are faded, but they're just so pretty. Pretty, delicate, feminine. All the words. These are cool. Oh my goodness, look at these. And these are screwbacks, so they are older. Oh my goodness, these aren't in perfect condition. No name or anything. These are gorgeous. Oh, I love those. Do you guys see the sparkle that they have? I love these. These are really pretty. They're, um, and the reason why I really love these, these are crystal or glass. Sorry. Are you guys having trouble seeing too? Let me know in the comments if I'm having trouble focusing. 
I wonder if these are like those things that they make out of vintage elements with new stuff. I really like these. Cause sometimes I don't I don't wear things because um I don't have not that I, I don't like to matchy match always unless I'm trying to. These are beautiful. These are clippies. I don't see no signature, but that doesn't matter on these ones. They're amazing. And I think these are glass. I don't think they're plastic. I do have to cut my nails. See, and they're getting too long. Um, I always get worried because what I end up doing is <laughs> they break and then they break like down here and it hurts. So I need to be pro preemptive and cut those sooner rather than later. This is a super long plain chain, but it's it's long, it's gorgeous. I would not I I love this. Oh my goodness. There's like a little tiny bit of wear here and here because that's where they move. <laughs> Mike. Mike is a weirdo. Um, there's nothing missing. By the way, I love laughing. If you guys ever tell me a joke, it is just like makes my day. This is so cool. I can't tell. I don't think it's signed. No. Um, but that is an amazing piece. These full emeralds, I don't see them that often. Every once in a while, you'll see the red ones or the green ones. And look at how there isn't much scratching on the face on the face of this. So you call it a table. I don't remember. I don't remember the real word for that. I think this is sterling too. Hi, Terry. Welcome, welcome. Just opening up my amazing bag from Doug here. Doug came and visited, and that was kind of the real gift, was being able to meet Doug and hang out with Anitra and her hubby. I feel like this is Sterling. And Smoky Quartz. It's a really cool bracelet. I quite like the color of Smoky Topaz. <laughs> I love I love these. I love his cards. So smart. I don't think this one's marked either. Now I'm doing to his cards what I use what everyone does at Savers. Very, very pretty. I don't know why it just didn't seem right when I said it, Mike. And then this one, Laura Ashley. Laura Ashley, is that the one who does? I've always meant to ask because I've seen her name on jewelry before. Is she the one that does furniture, Laura Ashley? Or am I just making things up. Ooh. Ah, we'll open that in a second. Look at how pretty these are. Oh my goodness. Or it might be a different Laura Ashley. I don't know. I actually, I do have, um, my sister loves abalone. And it's also got Mother of Pearl on the other side. These look great on. These are so pretty. Um, I love things like that. They look great. This is fun. I love the, the hangies, the dangles. That's what Miss, uh, it's a little, it's a little worn, but I think somebody might like it still. 
And again, there's no complaining. I got all of this for free, so <laughs> there, the, there shall be no complaining here. Oh my goodness, guys. More abalone. I don't think these are sterling either. I don't think. But they are beautiful. These, these both are so nice. Like, they're stunning. And my sister's worn things like this that weren't sterling and got so many compliments on them. So they're definitely something that you shouldn't, like, discount. Oh, this is a magnetic sunglass holder. Look. Eh, there's a magnet in there. And then you put your sun your glasses in there. Or your ID. That's so cute. I love that. We don't need our IDs as much as we used to. I like these. These are bourbon and boots. Which I've heard of bourbon and bow ties, but I have not heard of bourbon and boots. I wonder if it's a similar or different company. Look at that. They're so cool. I quite like this. They fit me pretty well. It is actually my size. Isn't that cute? I like these. Okay. That one I like. Carla's already wearing that one. <laughs> this one kind of reminds me of Tanya. I wish she wears, like, stuff like that sometimes. I can wear um, not real silver or gold, but not for a very long time. Like, I can wear it for half the day, but not the whole day. These are great. These are... Look at that. That's wire wrapped around something. And these are all... I've never seen anything quite like this. I have seen, like, the ones with the beads like this, but never with these little beads in between with the wire. That is funky and fresh. Is that weird to say? I feel like that's not the right thing to say. This is so fun. These are little quartzes. Nice and long. That is just really unique. Love that. Okay. This is the last of it. It's pretty exciting. I'm already rather excited by all of it already. These are the most beautiful clip-on earrings. Those are amazing. What are these? These are cool. Look at those. Do you guys hear the cicadas outside? They're really loud right now. I don't know if these are real or not. The Shibonshi. I don't know if they always signed inside too or just the outside. Yeah, yep, it does. It says the Givenchy on the inside. These are amazing. These are in really good condition. Um, the only there's only one little thing right there, but other than that, they're in perfect condition. Oh. No, like that's why I said like like I said I've met I've been at Itra before. She's lovely. Um I've I talked to I talked to a lot of people. I talked to Miss Tanya, I email with Gina. Um you know, they're all just amazingly lovely people. These are beautiful. I have to get some other people's information so I can talk to them a little more than I get to, like Kirsten and Janda. These are beautiful, too. These are real. Um, these are sterling. And real stone. 
gorgeous. And then these are fun to craft with because he's missing his there and he's a little worn away. So that was everything I got from Doug. And uh, my goodness, that was amazing. Um, might as well make this video super duper long and show you guys the things that I got while we were out thrifting as well. So this is the first place we went to and I don't have any of the prices, I don't think. Maybe I do. I do. So this was only nine seventy five, and I really love this. Oh, look! They usually take these. I think um, Miss Anitra also gotten something from here, and it was also amber. trying to see what that said cp or op dp i think maybe dp india 925 for ten dollars with this beautiful carved amber yes please <laughs> this is amazing um and then this they sell this brand in macy's it's called noir noir oh look it fits me today Sometimes things fit me later. They don't fit me all day. My my fingers really change size a lot. But this one was $6. Which I thought was a great deal. Cause look at that. Oh my goodness. Um, and then this one was the most expensive thing. Nope, it's not. It's almost. 1975. But this is Carolyn Pollock. And... This actually fits me. Fits on more than just this finger. It fits on this one, but I have a different ring on here. Um, so, Carolyn Pollock, 925, Coral. Nice. And then this I got because I don't have any... I don't think I have any of these ones, these chains. So, this one was 22 Oh, Doug Paulus. Thank you. So this is 925, and I love this for layering with. So that's why I got this really cool little paperclip chain. And then this one was $9. And I am pretty sure this is most likely 14 karat. These are real pearls, these are real coral, and I'm pretty sure these are gold, like 14 karat or 10 karat gold balls on this. And these Rice Krispie pearls, these older ones, are so pretty. They, they, like, you guys can see all the different colors in there. So, it's just really amazing. So, I thought that those were decent prices, and it was with my friends, so I wanted to buy some stuff so I can remember. Went to three different places. Um, this one, I think I paid $4 for. I got this for, um, I thought this was cool too. But the charms, I'm going to take the charms off of this. This is super faded, but it's got all these coins on here and then this one's cool too so I am definitely going to make some kind of really cool necklace I think with these hanging down the coins I think that'll be really awesome and they got this this was six bucks six bucks it's a weird way to say that there's a little Little birdie that's beautiful with the thing there um these I thought might be yep that's sterling so this is a little sterling crucifix and this is a really pretty one brooch and another one 
This one's just, uh, oh, look at that. That's enamel. I don't think this one is sterling, but it's beautiful, so it'll be nice to craft with. And this one also says sterling crucifix on there. And I think it's also, I think this is sterling too. So I think the whole thing kind of is. So I thought this was really a nice old vintage one. And then these were $6 as well. I thought they were, oh, I was going to say, I thought they were all there. These are Koro. This one's missing one, but that's an easy fix. And then these pink ones, which are fabulous. And then the last thing I got, oh, that's, that's, that's the best. We'll save the best for last. These I got for myself, these were $8. They're pierced. Are these fabulous? You guys know how I like my wood jewelry and I'm always looking for different um, earring options because you don't find a lot of earrings that are in the wood jewelry. Um, so that's why I bought those. And then this was only $12. So this is 925 Italy. It's got a P on there. I don't know who it is. But look, look at these amethysts. And the gold over sterling chain for $12. I thought that was an amazing deal. It's in very good condition. Hello, Miss Sally. Um, and then this was $10. This is Swarovski. Um, you can see the little swan there. I don't think I have this one. I don't know. But I do, I love the Swarovski jewelry and it's in very good condition. Like, it's in very good condition. And then the last thing that I got, my husband got some cat pins too, <laughs> which I don't have with me. This was $8. It's a stork. Is this a stork? I thought it was a flamingo. I guess I don't know the difference. I was like, oh, that's cool. It's only $8. I was going to get it regardless. And then I turned it over. <laughs> I don't know what her problem is today. This is Christian Dior for $8 at an antique store. And if you guys can see, it is in amazing condition. I don't know why I thought it was a flamingo. Maybe that's why I, I found some under flamingo, but... um. Probably find more under stork, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, I was like, this is, this was my steal. This one and like, I don't know. I think I got a lot of cool stuff. Some for crafting and stuff like that. But those were the things that I picked up while we were out. And the amazing bag that the generous Doug Vintage Boutique Cali, um, who you guys need to check out and send him my love. Also, make sure you check out I Spy Vintage because I think she might have some footage of us going antiquing, so it'll be nice to check that out as well. And she's amazing, always smiling, ball of sunshine. So thank you guys so much. Thank you, Doug. And uh, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.